Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 21F. The question says, open the file task 21F.htm, set the table to fit to 80% of the browser window and the left column to be 75% of the width of the table, okay? So I'm just going to take the questions one after another. So I'm going to look at the table width, uh, the table width of course, uh, to be 80 percent and then i'll consider the, the, the left column to be the width also to be 75 percent okay so i'm going to go to my code i'm going to go to my task into one f dot htm now i'm going to open this in a browser just to see how the table looks like so i will be able to know what to expect okay so this is this is the table here all right, so our job is to now extend a table with 80% of this browser window, window. And then, of course, uh, also the TH, which is the TH or TD, which are the, um, you know, the table, the TD, the width of the left column. All right, so I'm going to go to my code. So I'll right click on this and then. Um, open with notepad okay so what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to go to the table tag okay the beginning tag of the table tag and then have my style add my style and the property there so a four sign i'm going to have um uh, the width of the table sorry width of the table will be 80% that's what I need there 80% okay uh, what else okay let me just save that and then go and refresh my page and see how it looks like as you can see the the table has fitted on 80% of the browser window okay so the next thing that I want to do is to make the th or the td to be 75 percent that's the, uh, the width of the column the left column okay so we're going to push it to 75 75 percent of the, the table also all right so i'll go back to my code again i'll go back to my code so i can take the td or the th so uh, roughly i'll just take the th okay i will have the th where of course this uh this is the the left um, column. This represents this TH here represents the left column, while this uh, TH over here, the price TH, represents the, the right column. So we're interested in the left column. The same thing with the the TD. This is the, this is the left column for the TD when it comes to the data. Okay, so anywhere you can have your code anywhere here, it's going to push the what's it called uh, the column. Okay, so but let me just have it here at the footer here, that I have style. Equals, I'm going to have uh, width, width, uh, one, and then I have 75 percent. Okay, and then I'll save my code and then go back, uh, refresh my browser, and then it's going to push it to the right a little more 75 percent of the, the table uh, width. Okay, so that's that's it for that. Uh, the next question, guys, just give me some few minutes. My my UPS just went off. Far out there. Okay, guys. So um, so we we've, we've taken care of the column uh, the column width, which is seventy five percent, and then the table width. Okay. So the next question will be set the top row the top row here. So we're talking about the TR to be sixty pixels high. And the bottom row to be what to be 40 pixels uh, high. Okay, so we're looking at the first row and the last row, which are the the, the header and the footer, as a matter of fact. Okay, so 60% uh, for the header, the top row. So I'm going to just go go to my code and then locate the header right there. Uh, so I'm interested in the TR, which is the table row. So the first row right there. So I'm going to have style was and then have it as 
have the width as sorry the height this time around not the width the height oh man as 60 pixels okay so I'm going to save that and refresh my page making sure that it works for me so I will look at the last row this time around so I'm going to look for my footer okay so the footer here okay so I'm going to have style again in fact let me just copy that copy what I have here and then paste it right there just change I will change it 60 to 40 okay I will save that and then refresh my page and then I'll have that okay so that is for that those questions so we're going to move ahead so this handled and then okay to bottom row to the 40 pixels high so the next thing that we're going to look at will be the align align the table in the center of the browser window okay so we're going to set the margins now to align a window I mean to align the table to fit within you know the window we're going to make the the margin the left and the right margin to be automatic instead of setting them to a particular pixel so we're going to make them automatic okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to my table tag go to my table tag again t table 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 tag okay here i want to add uh, more properties okay so the next property i want to add is um will be the margin so i'm going to have margin right i want to make it auto so make it auto and then of course margin left margin left uh, I'm going to make it uh, auto 2 and then I'm going to save so remember that um, if you want to have multiple uh, properties you have to separate them with you know um, semicolon okay so I have uh, about three properties now the width and then the margin left and the margin right okay so I'm going to just uh, save my code and then refresh and see what happens as you can see the table is now in the middle all right right what other thing we have there so we've set this to the center we set the table to the center so we're going to set uh, the names of the fruits the fruit to be center aligned the names of the fruit so of course the fruit will be the left the left side okay so we're going to um, set the, the TD okay the table data now we're going to set them to or the text to be left is it right left center aligned I'm so sorry about that center aligned okay so we're going to have we're going to go back to our code this time around and then I'm going to locate my T so I'm going to ignore the TH this time around because we're just interested in the body okay so I'll just go to the body the body here so where I have my T uh, my TD for Apple so I'm going to have a uh, style right there equals uh, so I'm going to have text align text align should be center mind the spelling the spelling is American spelling here okay the spelling is American spelling okay so so which means first of all let me test this so I'm going to save this and then go to my browser and then refresh my browser as you can see the apple has come to the middle so we're going to do the same thing for the rest of the left column okay the, the td okay so i'm going to go back and do the same thing so i'm going to simply copy the code here and then look for all the all the other items so orange i'm going to have the same thing and then pier I'm gonna have the same thing right there of course um, banana the same lemon the same thing any other thing nope so I'll save that and then refresh and see whether all of them should come to the middle so everything they are all in the middle 
I want to know whether total is also inclusive in the question. Okay, so set the names of the fruit to be center aligned. So which means that um, what's it called? Total is not really inclusive. Okay, mm, but for the sake of it, uh, I may make I may make total to be inclusive. Uh, and then the price in the right column to be right aligned. So I'm I'm gonna make total also, you know, set that aligned. Okay, so I'm gonna fetch it in the footer. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you in the footer? Um, okay, that's it right here. So I'm going I'm going to add a property within the TDD total there. I'm gonna have, have a property there, so the same text align, text align. So I'm gonna have center, and then of course end it with uh, colon because there's multiple properties there. Multiple. So I'm going to save that and then go back to my code and see that it comes to the middle, which is good. That's what I want. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to make sure that the, the prices in the right column to be what? To be right aligned. Okay, good. So we're going to do the same thing for the other uh, TD. Okay, so I'm going to have this, the TD uh, 6000. So which means, let me start with the bottom. So I can have um, a style here. I'm gonna just do this. Uh, oh, okay. I wanted to just paste, but I forgot that I, that I didn't copy. So I'll just copy. Let me see. I'll copy this one because they are related. So I'll paste it right there. I'm going to have it as right aligned. Right aligned right here. Okay. So I'm going to say that. So I expect the. 6,560 uh, to be right aligned, which is the right at the right column in the so I'll, I'll expect this to be right aligned when I refresh this page. So I'll refresh that. So it's not it's not still right aligned. So let me just know what is wrong with my code right there. Okay, so the thing is I didn't save my code, so I need to save it. See? Such mistake can um, happen most of the times. Okay, so I didn't save it, so I'll go back again and refresh. That goes to the right. So I'm going to do the same thing for all the other, um, um, you know, cash. What I say, okay, all the data at the right side. Okay, so I'll just locate them. Let me just uh, copy this my code right here because I'm gonna need all of them. Then go to this the TD right here. I'm gonna paste that, and then go to also this TD right here. Let me just uh, put the space a little bit, and then paste that, and then go to the next one here. Paste that, and then go to the next one here. Paste that too. Go down to this. I'm gonna paste that right there. So, and then I'll save. And then refresh my page and everything goes to the right okay so I think that's about it for the whole question okay so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna test my you know browser I'm going to just uh, minimize it and then try to resize the browser as you can see as you're resizing it is going to be reducing in size okay accordingly so everything is gonna be at the middle okay as you can see so whenever you resize it the table will just always align to the middle which is, which is a great thing all right so before we go let's uh, make a copies of task 21 uh, let's make two copies of them so the first copy save as i'm going to call it task 21 g okay so i'm just i'm just going to go back here and then uh, have a folder call it task 21 g okay and then within that folder, I'm going to save this tax 21F as 21 G. Okay. So of course HTM. So save it as a web page. Okay. Tax 21 G.htm. 
then I'll save that and then I'll go back again, save the tax 21 g as tax as tax 21 o Okay. So I'll go back right there again and then um have another folder called tax 21 o 21 o Okay, so within that I'm going to save this. So I'm going to have um 21.0.htm okay remember to save it as a web uh, page all right so i'll save that okay so that is it for this so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can get um uh, notification whenever i post okay thank you so much i will see you in the next video bye